have anything you want, but hey, he's gonna start at a spot and he's gonna finish at a spot. Okay, so don't say get through the last bag and then you're done. Okay, when he gets through this last bag, he had better be coming hard through here. Okay, so if you guys would give him a spot to finish, because I don't know what the insurance covers and what it doesn't. <laughs> so he's got to have a finish. And guys, if he doesn't finish, we're going to make him start over. You know what I mean? And that goes for every drill that we do. If you ain't finishing, then you ain't getting the work done. Okay, so we finish everything that we do. With the offensive line, guys, your job, one of your jobs is to maximize the athletic ability that they have. Okay? You, you can't make great athletes out of guys that aren't great athletes, but you can maximize the athletic ability that they have. And the spread stuff that we run, we try to have athletes everywhere on the field, and that includes the offensive line. So we try to be athletic and make athletic movements on the offensive line as well. So we start every day with our just agility and bag drill, okay? And with the offensive line as well, okay? So the first movement is just one foot. He should hit one foot in between every bag. The bags are about three feet apart, okay, about one yard. So I try to get them going so it's perfectly one yard across. And there's a start line and a finish line. We go one, go. Bang, shoulders over, finish it hard, do the bag. Okay, Swin is gonna give us two feet coming back. Now he's gotta shorten his stride a little bit and get control two feet down in every bag, go. Up, fast, good hands, shoulders over, finish. Okay, shoulders over, finish. All right, we're gonna go three feet. So now he's really got to shorten his stride, not be long step, control his feet, and keep his hands working the entire time. Three, go. Boom, bursting out. They're gonna want to do four. They're gonna want to do two. It's gonna look awful the first time you do it, but they get to be better athletes. You do it every day and then it starts to come together. It looks good, okay? All right, Swin is gonna face me, okay? He's gonna get his pad level down, his eyes up, his hands ready to play football, and he's just going laterally over the pads. Go, go. Eyes open, kick out, there you go. Hey, he's gonna open and kick out, and we would have him go to his left, and then come back to his right, he's gonna open and finish going every way. For the offensive line, we gotta be able to move laterally as well, so Ben is gonna to start top half of the bag, inside foot up, and power step, working his pass pro, switch his feet, and work back the other side. Set, go. Hands up, he's gotta lean away from the side that we're moving to. Hands are up and working, eyes on the target, always finish. In that drill, we lean away from the side that we're going, okay? So if I'm going here, my body lean is here, and that's to help counter some of the up and back moves that you get from defensive ends. Defensive ends are gonna give you a two and under, so to stop and help with that club, we'll lean back to the side that we're coming from to help with some of the up and back moves, okay? Other thing that we'll do, I wanna have you do this again too, is we gotta move up and power step, and we gotta kick slide. So we're gonna work our up, Move our body lateral over, get set, and take two to three kick slides to get ourselves out. It's gonna work all the way through. Chest, say go. Go ahead, take your time, set, good depth right there. And chest, 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 chest. Good turning and getting out, okay? and be powerful moving from side to side. We're not a straight ahead game, okay? So we try to make as many movements where they have to change direction and be powerful as we can. Okay, so we work through all of our footwork stuff, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna have them line up on the back, on the back line right here. And we're gonna mimic every move that we make on the whole line. 
covered right, covered right, say go. Okay, so we take covered steps. Okay, we talked about what covered and uncovered steps were in the meeting. So to warm them up, I want him to take covered steps. And I'll say covered right, covered left. Okay, we'll come back. We'll go uncovered right, uncovered right. Set, go. And we're getting into our uncovered steps. We'll go uncovered right, uncovered left. Okay. All we're doing is taking them through the movements against air, no pressure. Get the feel for the day. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go pull. Okay. We run our counter pull and right. Say go. So we just go through our pull steps. Depending on if they're a guard or a tackle. Okay. We we make sure that the guards are doing their guard technique. Tackle technique, we have the centers pull like guards. Okay? The other thing that we do, guys, is we run a lot of screen. Okay? We run a lot of screen, so we're going to run through our screen steps. Okay? We're going to go screen left. Okay, so go ahead and go screen left. Screen left, we call about three and over. Set, go. One, two, three, pulling up into whoever our screen defender is. Okay? But every, every set of steps that we have to take, we have them go through and run through, okay? We'll have them fit up, okay? And we'll work power positions, okay? Say go. Ready? Good. So he has to get in that fit position and work, okay? I'm just being a glorified feedback right now. Okay, I just want to give him pressure so that he has to work, but I'm not trying to work my hardest games and really get in trouble. Okay? That's what team and, and inside runner for.